Uh, welcome to Wildlife Sound again. All right, so yeah, we are doing birds. So today we are doing, um, if you all were here last time, uh, today is gonna be a red day. So I do color themed days. Um, and last time was blue, and we talked about blue jay and cerulean warbler. Um, today is going to be a red day. So this one is the first one. All right. Um, so yeah, that's the sound that this bird will make. Um, this is typically the habitat that you might find them in, although they're pretty widespread, so you can find them in a lot of different places. In the US. Um, so this bird is the cardinal. So the cardinal is going to make a variety of different calls. Uh, primarily, you hear that cheer, 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 or purdy, 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 purdy. Um, and sometimes people say that they sound like lasers, uh, like little laser guns shooting. Um, so if you ever hear that, so that's the little laser. That doo, 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 doo. So if you ever hear that and you're in the city or in, in some type of um, uh, fragmented uh, forest, you, this will probably be what you're hearing. So let's learn some more about the cardinal. Um, so uh, within their life history and behavior, so their crest what's on the top of their head, their feathers. Um, that's what is going to be used to display their behavior, how they're feeling. So if it's up more, it's going to be showing their, that they're agitated or stressed. If it's down, they're probably more comfortable in their situation. Uh, the males, they will sing to defend their nesting territory um, and actively uh, attack intruding males. Uh, so a lot of times cardinals can be quite aggressive towards each other and other birds. Um, and in springtime, uh, the singing that you'll hear is mainly courtship. Uh, so for the males and females singing. Um, so for their diet, uh, primarily seeds and fruits. However, they also eat uh, some insects as well. So some fruits may include um, uh, and seeds, uh, dogwood, wild grape, buckwheat, uh, grasses, sedges, uh, some of the things that you may have heard before I came on too. Um, and then for insects, they eat like cicadas, flies, centipedes, spiders, all those things, and even snails, actually. So that's kind of interesting. So for their habitat and location, um, you'll typically find them throughout the eastern U.S. in this blue range, um, which is baffling because they're so common in the eastern U.S. You, you could go outside right now and you'd probably run into a couple, but it's not a thing in the western U.S. So People from out west will come out here and be like, oh, my gosh, a cardinal. I've never seen one. Um, but it's it's wild to think that they aren't so commonplace in other places. Um, so they, they typically are found in dense shrubby areas or forest edges, overgrown fields, uh, backyards, marshy thickets um, and regrowing forests. So all over. Um, and then the growth of towns and suburbs across the eastern U.S. has helped the cardinal expand their uh, range, especially more northward. So uh, going into conservation and threats. So uh, kind of with what I said, they're so commonplace. Uh, so they're not really of uh, concern. Um, so that's a good thing that we don't have to worry about with these birds. Um, and then the expansion of agricultural and suburban habitat uh, over the past two centuries has increased their population and helped stabilize their population. Um, so they have a population of about 130 million globally. Um, so not much of conservation concern. Uh, so lastly, some fun facts. So they're one of our most popular birds, especially in the U.S., uh, and it's the official state bird of uh, seven eastern states, including Kentucky. Um, and then they are also the mascot of the greatest team ever. Um, I'll let you all figure out which one I'm talking about. Some of you may know my allegiances, but I do go to UK. I'll give that a hint. Um, so uh, there are only a few female uh, Northern American songbirds that do sing and cardinals uh, are one that have singing female card or singing female songbirds. So it's really interesting. So um, on to the next one, as I check the chat, uh, why has a cardinal been banging on my window at sunup for the past two months? Okay, so it's probably because they are quite aggressive. Maybe it sees its reflection and it's thinking that it's another cardinal encroaching on its territory. Or maybe it's just super curious of why this is this barrier is here and it can't pass through. So 
who knows, but those are probably two likely uh, scenarios, but they are most active at sunrise and sunset. Uh, sunrise, you'll, you'll hear them all the time, just calling and calling and singing and singing. So on to the next one. And yes, if you have any questions or want to guess what bird it is, feel free to put it in the chat. So here we go. Um, all right, there we go. So yeah, this is the habitat that you would probably find this bird in. Um, uh, so it's kind of that chickpeer uh, and then that singing uh, song. So this bird is the scarlet tanager, uh, the very elusive scarlet tanager, I will say. So uh, this song can be uh, described as like a hurried burry, a repetitive warb warber. Um, and it's somewhat similar to a robin. It's very similar to a robin, but they say it's a robin call with like a sore throat. So it's more like, eh, um, so like nasally. And then you hear that chick burr, and then it goes into the like robin call. So I actually got really excited when I was doing field work because I thought I heard one and then realized it was just a robin calling. So um, that was kind of unfortunate, but yeah, very similar to that. So. Let's learn some more about the scarlet tanager. So with this life history and behavior, um, so they're monog monogamous um, when it comes to breeding, but they may switch mates from year to year, which is really interesting. Um, and um, they also are fairly common in oak forests in the summer, um, but they remain like up in the canopies for the most part. So they're really hard to see and find. So if you're ever trying to go find some, it's, it can be quite difficult. Uh, but then sometimes in like the early spring when it's still like uh, kind of cold out because um, they eat insects. And I'll talk about that in a second. So they might come out of the canopy to look for insects lower. Uh, but this late in the summer, it could be really hard to or this late in the spring. Now that it is summer, it'll be really hard to find them. They'll be very high up in the canopy. Um, and then the females also are kind of a yellowish green color too. So not this scarlet uh, red color. Um, I should have added a picture, but um, yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Um, so going into the diet, like I said, they eat mainly insects, but they may also eat some uh, fruit or tinder buds. So they may eat dragonflies, grasshoppers, termites, um, butterflies, moths, all the above. And they can even catch flying insects um, like bees and wasps and hornets from the air. So it's kind of cool. So with their habitat um, and migration, so let's talk about their habitat first. Uh, so they breed in mature deciduous forests, uh, mixed deciduous conifer coniferous forests. Um, they prefer large forest tracts with large trees, um, interior forest species, so not so much on the edge. So you won't necessarily find them in the same places that you would find cardinals. Um, and if you're going out in the city, there's it's not likely that you'll really run into one unless it's kind of a more mature growth wherever you're um, finding yourself in. Um, and then in terms of migration, like I kind of showed a little bit. So the, the red is gonna be their uh, breeding grounds. Um, so right in Kentucky, so right where we are, I think right here is going to be Lexington. So we're right in their breeding grounds. So that's really cool. The yellow is their migration. So where they're traveling uh, to uh, the breeding grounds or from uh, to their wintering grounds down here. So this is where they winter. So once it gets cold up here, they travel all the way down here and stay there for the winter and then back. Um, so they're long distance migrants, evidently. Uh, so twice a year. So they fly up once and then fly down once. Um, through the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they usually migrate at, at night as well. Um, and so, yeah, that's the migration for this bird. All right, so in terms of conservation and threats, uh, the populations have been relatively steady from 1996 or 1966 to 2019, uh, global breeding population of 2.6 million. So not as much as the Cardinal. Um, so they are of relatively low conservation concern as well although they are vulnerable to loss of habitat um, in their wintering areas, as well as their breeding areas here. Uh, some threats might be wildfires, spring heat waves, heavy rainfall, and then urbanization, uh, even parasitation by cowbirds uh, that use their nests and put their own eggs in their nests 
and raised their and they're, they're young are raised by that. So um, that can also be a threat as well, especially coming from uh, these birds being found in forest edges as opposed to their interior forest that they would much prefer. Um, so to safeguard the scarlet tanager population, um, preserving and restoring mature forest habitats for breeding, migrating, and wintering is recommended. Um, so that's kind of the uh, conservation uh, and threats that the, this bird is facing. However, like I said, it's still relatively low conservation concern. And lastly, some fun facts for you. Um, so a group of tanagers are collectively known as a season of tanagers. So uh, a little fun fact for some trivia, if you are to do that ever, um, that's a season. So a bunch of tanagers are called a season of tanagers. And then they also help control pests by eating them. So I very much appreciate that because I'm not one for animals with more than four legs. So um, I like scarlet tanagers for that reason, particularly. So that is wildlife sounds for today with the two red birds, so cardinal and scarlet tanager. So I hope you all enjoyed it.